Before I even start, start off this video, I just want to say thank you to anybody watching this video. Uh, and and to thank you to me for actually uploading it. Because, you know, I'm kind of lazy like that. But let's uh, let's get right into this. First, let's, uh, let's do a sync here. Alright, from resume game down to how to play. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, so this is Minecraft Mario Party. And as you can see, it's not done yet. And there's still, it's not playable yet. It's in its pre-alpha stage, but I put a lot of work into it and it's, and I know what I want to do. I know what the plans are. It just takes some time. So far, this is the only mini game I have, but I'll get into that in just a minute. But there's, you can see a lot of blocks around here and uh, there's a lot of keys. So as you can see here, we got the blue space, red space, gold space. This is a special space, the happening space, miracle space, dual, Bowser solo, Bowser multi. DK solo, DK multi, store, not a space, possible star location, star, three capsule, not a space, skip or go back three places, one way through stairs only. Now these are, uh, basically this is just like blocking you off so that you can't go up the thing. Um, but you can go through the stairs though. Um, and what I want to mention about this unblockable is that in this game there are capsules, which I have, here let me make it day, um, All right, there we go. Um, in this little area right here, I have capsules, and they do a number of things, like not affected by all other capsules, two rules, three rules, and they basically function the same way that they do in Mario Party 6. And uh, I wanted to kind of implement that in a different uh, different style. Um, as you can see, still though, there's a bunch of different blocks here. Um, to start off, we have, uh, well, this is just for me, because this super helps. I have like this command right here, which I can use. It doesn't do anything. It just tells me what the command is so that I know what, what to do. Because with every one of these uh, little uh, things on the left side, I have numbers one through nine, which essentially act as a roll dice, kind of like in Mario Party where it's one through 10, but because it's only one through nine, I was like, that's good enough. And I decided to use the elements because they have the numbers on them. And that makes things a lot easier. And here we have the gold dispenser. You just hit this thing three times if you land on a blue space. That's why you only see it on blue and purple spaces and not on any other things. Not like this is finished, because it's not finished. Um, and the, the commands really do help for like trying to get stuff placed. For example, I have uh, I need a little thing right here to press so I can know what button uh, I need to move, or how much I need to move. So, I do a little this command right here, and boom. I have uh, this thing cloned right here, and I have this for three of the different locations. Um, it's honestly kind of a pain in the ass to do all of these, but you know what? I'm still getting to it. I'm still working around it. Here, let's uh, let's do another one just to, just to see. This is the right-hand side. So we, I still need one for the left-hand side because it's always how it's working. And although it's a little confusing, it's always on the right-hand side where you see it. So on the right-hand side is where you see these uh, little um, arrows right here that tell you which way you're going. And these little things right here that are uh, that give you the coins if you need to. But on the left-hand side is where all the things are. As you can see, I have another command thing here. Okay. So, for example, I have these uh, uh, coin spaces right here because this is on the left-hand side. And like I said, I always need it on the left-hand side. This is what? 115, right? Hold on. Let me double check. All right. This is negative 115. So I go to the command that I need. Think. Think. And I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to fill my entire command space with this. But it's more of just a generalization to show you guys what it's looking like. Um, I have happening spaces here. For example, this happening space says plus 10 coins even if you lose in the next duel. Um, this one says you go back to the beginning. And I think one here is like go to the stone spire. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, minus 15 coins, but you get to teleport to the stone spire. So that's all the way over here. So that can really help you or really hurt you. Um, as you can see, this is a possible location for one of those uh, stars. The stars are another stars, by the way. Um, and here we have the interesting stuff, which is telling you basically how the rules are going to go. So, for example, this is applying for player one, player two, player three. This is for like the miracle space, for example. This is what the miracle does. You can either get 10 coins going left, 15 coins going right, all caps will switch, all coins switch, one star right, all stars switch. Um, you know, 10 coins, this is for duel, whatever the winner gets. And this is for Bowser. This is, you know, if you lose the Bowser battle, 
this is what you get and it depends on whether it's solo multi or both um and here i'll just quickly try and mention this too this is the one mini game i have so far um i'll try and come up with more but they're actually quite difficult to come up with and i have this a little elaborate system right here to make it so that you get a notification on who's actually first first you gotta go through this thing though so that way anybody who steps on either of these pressure plates they get to go first so say you run through this whole thing and you step on the pressure plate whoever steps on the pressure plate second can't activate their switch so whoever steps on the pressure plate first they know that they were first because whoever does it second it doesn't count um and the same thing goes vice versa you press on this pressure plate uh you can't step on this one doesn't go off i mean you can but it just doesn't do anything um so that way you know that you know oops you know that it actually worked that way so i think that's a really cool way of making sure that all that's the all the systems are actually operating correctly Ugh, boy this is um, and and this is just a bunch of like redoing the same stuff over and over again this is like 77 right yeah and uh trying to get this stuff going from like left to right up to down all this kind of stuff it can get a little bit tedious um purple spaces also these little purple spaces that are underneath the droppers they don't mean anything they're just there so that uh i have something to put the dropper on top of and i didn't feel like changing it after all the times i used it so this one's like 47 i think yep so there we go and just like that we have all these spaces like i said the kinks aren't fully worked out yet uh i think i have all the coin spaces all them though um i don't have like the things on top of them but for every single purple or blue space I have coins on top of them. Gold spaces, if you remember, the same way they worked in Mario Party 8. You, I believe, 8, but there are probably other games too. The same way they worked in that game is you step on it and you have an opportunity to go for like a gold thing. Once again, haven't really worked it out yet, but I know what I'm planning on doing. It just takes some time. So I think this is really cool. This is a little pre alpha stage. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to trust anybody to play with me in this game. Uh, just because, you know, having even a single person who's like, I'm going to break this time could ruin a lot of work and effort. And, uh, you know, just having a troll in here ruin my day could really do ruin everything because I put so much time into everything here. Super intricate. I spent like a few hours on this alone. And I'm not even done. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'll eventually play this with somebody. I mean, I would really like to. I like the idea of playing with someone, but... You know, when you have no idea what they can and can't do, uh, it's rough. Obviously, you have commands, though, to stop people from, you know, breaking stuff and whatnot. But uh, I, I'll, I'll try and figure out how to, like, prevent anybody from doing anything, even close friends. You know, if I invite you to play this and you're a close friend and I still prevent you from doing anything, uh, no hard feelings. But I don't trust any of you guys. Uh, I don't trust anyone but myself to play in this world with uh, all the rules and properties that come along with that so you know no hard feelings just don't trust you anyways uh yeah i hope you guys think this was pretty cool i'm gonna be done with this sometime soon um and uh let me just look at this real quick here so this is a capsule thing so you walk in here you get a capsule and boom you uh know what that uh capsule is you're getting and you can go over to that sign there and just in case if this wasn't obvious press this button it gives you the number super simple all right cool